Hello and welcome to Teach It On Up. My name is Michelle Smith and today I'm going to be showing you how to take your desktop to looking all cluttered and disorganized to amazing. I saw this Instagram reel from Teaching and Uplifting. She did such an amazing job and I just knew I had to share it with you guys. Sometimes I do little teacher tutorials and in-services on technology um, in my district and whenever I do and I display my screen, my desktop always looks a righteous mess. And so I'm gonna show you a before and after of what my desktop looked like, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I'll show you how to make it better. I'll show you how to enlarge or or you can even decrease the size of your icons and just make it look so much better. So here we go, let's teach it on up. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to make your desktop icons a picture instead of a folder. And so what I'm gonna do first, so I have chosen to make these um, words that I've created in PowerPoint. So that's what I'm going to show you. We could do the same thing with any picture or anything like that. So let's get started. You're going to open up a new PowerPoint presentation and what you're going to do then is you are going to insert a new text box. And so I've already cleared out the other text boxes. I always just like highlight and get rid of everything and then so I can start fresh and brand new. And since I teach English language arts, I'm going to make an ELA folder. Now that text is not super exciting, so I'm going to change my text right over here to the AG resting teacher face. And if you haven't seen the AG fonts on Teachers Pay Teachers, it is so worth the investment. I would definitely check her out. Um, all right, and I'm gonna make my font just a nice big font. So I'm gonna make it 138 because I want this to um, be easily read and all that good stuff. So now I have my ELA and I need to form my format, sorry, my text. And so I'm going to highlight it all, two finger click, double click, oh, that didn't work. So I'm going to try it again, two finger click, there we go, format text effects. And it's going to bring this up right over here to the side. So first I'm going to um, click on the solid and I am going to have my solid fill and I'm going to come over here and click white. And you'll see what I mean by this in just a little bit. And then the text outline, I'm going to make it a solid outline with black but I'm going to increase my um, my size up to a 4.5, so it's a nice thick line. Okay, there we go. I'm not done yet though. I'm gonna come over here and I am going to have this be my white shadow and my transparency I'm gonna bump up to 60%. This is all personal preference, so if you like something um, more than what I'm doing, then you go ahead and you can do whatever um, it is that you feel like you prefer. So and over here, I always do a glow. Well, I don't always do a glow, but in this case, for these, I do a glow. Um, I make that white as well, and I'm gonna take that to an eight point. Oops. There. Oh, maybe I should, oh, there we go. It landed on it. Okay, and then my transparency is zero. And so that's what I do for the top layer, but if you'll notice, right over here, I have a little cursive right in front of it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much like duplicate this. So I'm going to push Command C, which is copy, and now I'm going to push Command V. And so now I have two copies of that exactly the same format. Um, I don't want this though to be this font. I want to change it to a fun cursive font. So I'm going to come up here and I am going to change it to a cursive font. Now, I don't want it to be capitalized for this, I just want it to be lowercase. So I'm gonna retype it since I capitalized the first. If you can hear my little dog, he's kind of woofing at the neighbor's cat, and so that's always fun. <laughs> anyway, okay, so here is my ELA. It's a little smaller, and I'm gonna layer it right on top here. There, that looks good to me. Okay, and like I said, this is all a personal preference. Some people are not gonna like this, and that is 100% okay. You can change it, like I said, to anything. You can insert a picture and create it like that. Um, but now what I'm going to do is, this is what I want my, basically my folder to look like. And I'm gonna show you how I change that in just a second. So I come over here and I highlight it all. And that's gonna highlight my two boxes. And I'm just going to push Command C, which is copy. You don't even have to save it as an image anymore if you don't want to, which is so awesome. Okay, now over here, you're going to see that I have made my icons bigger. Let me show you how to do that first of all. So this is how you can make your folder icons bigger on your desktop. 
I two finger click. Oop, actually, I need to go to my finder. Okay, I don't need that, but I need my finder options up here. And then I go to view and I go to show view options. And over here is where I can change the desktop icon options. So I have my icons set to the biggest, okay? And that's what I would recommend. Um, see if I make it smaller, see how they get smaller. But here is whoop, the, <laughs> the biggest. Okay, well now it's just reformatting everything. I'll have to drag it over, which is easy. I'll show you later. And then you can make your text size bigger if you want, 13. So that is the text that's below those icons. Okay, I like it at 12. Let's keep it at 12. Okay, so that's how you make your icons bigger and smaller on your desktop, okay? Now I'm gonna exit out of that. Now I need to make a new folder because I want, and this is gonna bother me, so I'm just gonna kind of reorder my icons real quick. Just so it's kind of a nice, neat little area and that kind of shows you how we do it. Okay, so there's that and you can do this. And by the way, I got my background from Teach, or Get Your Teach On. I just went to their website and I found it, um, I think it was also in their Get Your Virtual Teach On for the summer, it was in their free swag. So I would definitely recommend checking them out for a fun little background. Okay, so now I need to create a new folder. So again, I two finger click and go over here to new folder and look how big it is. See, that's way bigger than, um, than what it normally is. All right, but now I need to change it. So first I'm going to change my the name. I just kind of click in there and I want this to be titled ELA. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna come up here to get info. And it's gonna create this little folder over here, this little option menu. I'm gonna click on this and I'm just going to paste, go to up here to edit. Now, because you guys are, will remember, if I, I came over here and I highlighted everything, I'll do it one more time just to make sure that I've actually copied it. Okay, so I go over here and I push copy. And I'm gonna come back and fingers crossed, this has worked for me again. So I'm gonna whoop, go up here to edit and paste. And there it is. So now you can see there is my ELA folder. And I just exit out of there. And I have my ELA folder, easy, simple as that. I can drag it around. See, this one is a lot bigger than these other ones and I like this bigger option. The more letters you have, you'll see, the smaller they get. So I would recommend naming your folders um, less is more in this case, unless you like the big spacing. Which, if you do, then more power to ya. Um, but here is my folder and then it'll just open up and I can drag and drop things as I need it. All right, um, and again, if you wanted to make them into pictures, maybe you wanted to have a picture of your family for your family, um, your family folders or whatever you wanna do, it's all up to you and you can just like go back over here to PowerPoint, go to insert picture, you know, whatever you wanna do. So um, this is just a super simple tip on how to make a little bit more eye-catching icons on your desktop. I hope you enjoyed it. Hello and welcome to Teach It On Up. My name is Michelle Smith and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your desktop go from eh to awesome. Um, okay, so I got this inspiration from Teaching and Uplifting and she has so many great ideas to make things just like aesthetically pleasing and so I knew I had to do it right as soon as I saw her Instagram reel. You all should follow her. Um, and so anyway, what, sh let me, what are you doing, dog? I wonder if they can see you. I know. I know. 